Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me and to my makeup uh, demonstration today. I have been doing a couple of makeovers and really enjoying uh, sharing with you my own uh, experimentation with, uh, with new products and also sharing some of the wisdom that I've accumulated over the 65 plus years of my life <laughs> um, and you know just how you know how much you learn as you go and I must have bought I don't know maybe 30 or 40 foundations in my life and I wanted to share with you today of all of those the the five uh, that I really have um, you know honed in on and that I use the most now I must admit I've tried uh, the very expensive products um, uh, I've had you know makeovers done in, in shops uh, you know some of the products that uh, I've heard recommended by other great makeup artists and to be honest with you I just don't want to spend um, 50 or 60 dollars on a makeup product of any kind I mean, I've tried Creme de la Mer foundation and some of the really expensive ones, and I like them, of course. I think they're very nice, Dior, Chanel, all the big brands. But I've always decided that I'm going to stick with, you know, under under twenty dollars for a foundation, and even that, even that's a lot for me because I just feel makeup should be fun and not something that you know you you have to really break the bank <laughs> to purchase. So um, I don't know all the prices for these products, but I, the ones I'm going to show you are all ones that fell within that range, and um, I, I like them for different reasons. And um, so I'll start with the one that I'm wearing today because I really do love it. I seem to have, it seems to have disappeared. This is what happens when you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry, I just had it right by me. Couldn't see it. This is one of the things that happens when your eyes have had lots of experience. Um, so the, the the makeup I'm wearing today is Max Factor. It's Max Factor Foundation. It's called a Two in One Foundation and Serum. Now the reason I like this one is it goes on very very smoothly for me. Um, it's uh, a good match for my skin. I mean I know I've got a bit of a tan right now, so but this is really the color of my skin most of the year, and it's got a beautiful consistency. It's got an SPF. Um, of 15 so it's not super super SPF but it's good it's good enough for me so this is my number one choice um, I forget what the price is I mean it's, it was Max Factor Ageless Elixir it's called two-in-one foundation and serum and the, the color that I use is natural 50 and I do actually use natural 60 sometimes in the summer summer when I've got a bit of you know of a tan but I do like this product and I think that's one of my favorites for sure Another one that I really like um, is one I've just discovered and I was doing a video the other day on Catrice products and this is a very a low end product. It's, it's nothing is over, I think, uh, none of the products are over $5. This foundation was I think $8.95. This is a Swiss francs, so about the same in dollars. And it's called uh, the Catrice All Matte 18 Hour um, uh, this is shine control makeup so it's a mattifying makeup but I don't find it drying at all so I'm using um, it's the beige a uh, natural beige and the challenge with Catrice is that it only comes in I think four or five um, uh, shades so uh, you have to be aware that that you know you're not going to get all the choices but th this one I did another video on so you can see what that looks like but I really liked it it's the Catrice mattifying uh, eight hour 18 hour um, shine control makeup really nice I liked it that's uh, again a fairly low price product now another one that I liked this has been recommended by others and I think this cost me a little more maybe under $20 but it's an it product IT and I like it cosmetics and I know a lot of women in our community also wear it products I, I get a lot of comments about this one this is a really interesting one because it says your skin but better it's uh, an SPF 50 so this is a super SPF um, high SPF um, foundation and it really um, goes on smoothly it says, it says anti-aging hydrating serum included in this one similar to the max factor and um, I just want to make sure I got my I need my glasses on here so I can actually read this it says um, yeah, it says color correcting full coverage. So this is a full coverage and I wear this sometimes when I'm doing a picture or a Skype call or something where I need, you know, a little bit more coverage. So it's it's it CC plus and it says um, SPF 50 anti-aging highlighting serum full coverage. Good one. It's a really nice one. And my and the, the um, color that I'm using here is let's see what does it say light. It's light. 
There's probably not as much in this range either, so light coverage. Now, the next one, I think I'll leave my glasses on and I can actually read. Um, the next one that I really love is my, oh, now this is a good one, L'Oreal. Now, L'Oreal is another one that I really do love for the colors. You can get a lot of colors in this in this group. This is infallible 24-hour uh, L'Oreal um, makeup, and it's it's a medium to I would say medium to full coverage. It's got a very nice um, tone. It's it's got a little deeper quality to it, but it goes on super easy. It lasts forever, and I think it's great for pictures, for photographs, and for when I'm on you know on. Um, the TV so it's really really I think a good one to consider it's the L'Oreal infallible 24-hour and I think this is matte it, it says it's matte no SPF I don't think no this is 20 the, the color is sable sand but no SPF I can see hope I'm getting that right I don't want to mislead you on that one because um, I'll check on that, but it doesn't it doesn't seem to say it's got any SPF in it. So the L'Oreal product Finally number five and actually it's number one because I really do wear this product more than any other foundation And this is the ultimate face tint by Ariane Poole um, This product I think it comes in three colors, but um, it's it's just for me the perfect go-to any day, wear it, you know, just grab it and go. Um, it's it's a it's a moisturizer, uh, an S, uh, a BB cream, a CC cream, a foundation, all in one. It's really um, it's just lovely to, to to wear. It blends in with just you know with your skin tone. Um, I wear it all the time, and this is a good price as well. So I would say this is the one I wear most often, and the one that um, I feel most comfortable in. I think the, the uh, CC Plus is uh, the IT product. The CC Plus is the best for pictures. I would say, you know, for me, the um, uh, the Catrice is super uh, low price, and I've used it again for just grabbing and going. If I'm not, you know, just going out to the shops, so not trying to, you know, just put a makeup on that I want to really stay on for a while. Although this did last, uh, for, it didn't last for 18 hours, but it was it was pretty um, pretty good. So those are my five. Um, foundation choices and um, if you've got a favorite that you love uh, please leave your comments in the section below we'd love to get a conversation going and I just hope this has been useful um, one of the great things about being over 60 is you've tried a lot of makeup in your life and I'm almost positive that all of you listening have got your one or two favorite uh, foundation products so let's hear what you what you use and what you love and uh, share the um, share the wisdom Okay, everybody, we'll have a fantastic day and uh, see you all again soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.